There are tons of color palette generators online and you might have used some, I certainly have. However, over the years I've learned that colors play an integral part in a brand's identity. For instance, you can probably recognize these brands without even reading their name. These colors were thoughtfully selected and each have a purpose behind them. In this video, I'm going to share my simple process that will help you choose colors for any project that you will work on. Let's dive in. So the first step is to pick a primary color that represents the brand. This is usually done by a brand identity team. But in this case, let's assume that there is no team and you have to select this color. So as I mentioned before, each color has a purpose and this primary color should represent the brand's values. So essentially, you want to sit down with your stakeholders and ask them about their brand's values. For instance, you can ask them questions like, what does a brand mean to them? How do they want their customers to perceive their brand and so on? Essentially, you wanna get a sense of the brand's identity from the stakeholder's viewpoint. I would then open up the color psychology chart and I would try to match colors that represent these values. Each color has values and adjectives associated with them. For instance, bright red conveys positivity, excitement, and energy. Green represents growth, balance, reassurance, and so on. So for example, let's say we're working on a skincare brand that represents happiness, energy, and that is whimsical. So in this case, I would pick a vibrant orange color. Next, you want to select your secondary colors that will complement your primary color. In most cases, you want to pick two colors, but there is no such set rule. These colors will be used to give importance to certain elements on your page or in your design. Since these colors complement the primary color, I like to use a color generator in this case as it is a faster and more convenient way of doing this. I like to use a resource called coolers.co which is super simple to use and get started. All you got to do is input your primary color, lock it and then hit space bar until you find a color that you like. I am looking for something bright, so let's say I pick this blue color. Then what I would do is drag it to the left next to my primary color and lock it. Now when I hit spacebar again, I will get suggestions that match these two colors, making sure that my color palette remains uniform. So let's say for my second secondary color, I choose this green. And just like that, I have picked my secondary colors. Finally, we need to add neutral or tertiary colors which are basically shades of gray. If you are aware of the 60-30-10 rule, then these colors in most cases take up 60% of the interface. Here are a few examples of this. So I typically like to pick six shades of gray starting from dark to light. So what I do is I open up a color picker and I input my primary color. Then I move my cursor to a specific shade within the same hue of my primary color. Once I pick a shade, I will move my cursor to another shade, which in this case is a slightly brighter one. And then I will continue this process until I have picked all my six shades of gray. By applying this process, all of your shades of gray will cohere inherently match your primary color, making your color palette look balanced and more professional. And that is how you create a color palette from scratch. If you want to learn more about the 60-30-10 rule and how to apply these colors in a user interface, then comment the words color rule below. Do subscribe for more useful and practical tutorials on UX UI design. Thanks for watching.